And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. The main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing this in the lightweight division. First to make his ring walk, fighting out of the blue corner. Hailing from Carolina, Puerto Rico, here is the Wonder Boy, Jose Lopez. Nicknamed the Wonder Boy. He's moving up in weight for this fight after campaigning at 130 pounds. He's 135 tonight, and he describes his fighting style as toe to toe, period. Yeah, he's coming to, look, he's coming, putting all the chips down because that's his chance, and he knows he has to go with that chance. So we think Ryan Garcia is going for the knockout. We know Jose Lopez is going for the knockout. Well, he don't look to get a close decision or any decision here. He's looking to get a knockout, make a clear, clear message. A knockout is what he asked for, what he said, and I think that's what he's going to try to do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, set to make his ring walk, a rising superstar in the lightweight division, California's own, the high desert zone, Victor Valley's own, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia! If you are what you say you are, assume He is 20 years old, turned pro at 17 in Mexico because he wasn't allowed to legally in America until he turned 18. He went down, paid his debut south of the border, and now here he is headlining a sold-out show in Indio, California. I mean, he's 19 years old, and he's sold out. 20 years old. Well, 20 years old, probably the next three months he turned 20. But, but he's 20 years old, still young, and got all his fanfare. You know, can he handle it? Will he handle it? And you know what? That's still a question mark. But right now, he wants to win and get a title shot. And he's already got a massive following, mainly because of his online exploits, the videos he's posted, he has a YouTube show. But when it comes to in the ring, how does he get those hardcore boxing fans to get behind him? Well, he has to be impressive. He has to keep winning. He has to keep being who he is. I mean, he wants to come and win. He wants to win by knockout. If he continues to do that, he will win over his doubters. Love me or hate me, he just wants you to care about it. He wants you to watch him. And that's what all these people are doing here tonight. Not a single seat left to be sold. Standing room only here in Southern California. It's our mail main event. This is our tale of the tape. Garcia, just 20 years old. Lopez five years older, and he will enjoy a three-inch reach advantage. Here are the rules. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the doctor or referee can stop the fight. According to Danny Sheridan, tonight's odds, as you can imagine, lopsided. Garcia, a 15 to one favorite. He's expected to win. He has to win. But Jose Lopez has other ideas as he looks to pull off a stunning upset. Joe Martinez now with the introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live worldwide on zone from the sold out Fantasy Springs Resort Casino here in Indio, California. It is time for the main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing this scheduled in the lightweight division. Brought to you by Golden Boy in association with Miguel Cotto Promotions. And presented by Tecate, the official bear of boxing and Hennessy, never stop, never settle. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, the executive officer is Andy Foster. Your three judges appointed at ringside, scoring on the 10-point must system, Rudy Baragan, Dr. Lou Moran, and Zach Young. And when the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Hall of Famer, Jack Riggs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is ready. Indio, California! <laughs> 
Make some noise if you are ready! Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing tonight, black trunks trimmed in gold. He weighed in officially 134 pounds even. In 24 professional bouts, his record outstanding with 20 victories, including 14 knockouts, three defeats, and one bout even. Presentando el hijo de Carolina, Puerto Rico. Here is the Wonder Boy, Jose Lopez. And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, wearing red trunks trimmed in black, he weighed in 134 and one half pounds. This young professional is perfect in his campaign inside the ring. 17 bouts, 17 victories, including 14 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is the undefeated lightweight, the fighting pride of Victorville, California. Here is King Rye, Ryan Garcia. High. I'm gonna let them work in here. Same thing here, coach. They're just a drop high. Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. I gave you both instructions. I just want to remind you, listen and follow my directions at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Toca la mano. Buena suerte. Can Ryan Garcia, King Rye, continue his rapid ascent at the age of 20 years old? Or will the Wonder Boy, Jose Lopez, Knocked the hype train off the tracks for a crash and burn upset here tonight. Here we go. Garcia in the red trunks. Jose Lopez in the white and black were scheduled for 10. Jose coming right out and trying to establish his jab and his presence. That's going to be key if he's going to have success early in this fight. And Ryan Garcia fighting for the first time as a dad. Had a newborn daughter just last week, Riley Garcia. How do you think that'll affect him? Well, it's going to affect him in a positive way because not only is he fighting for himself, he's fighting for his daughter and his daughter's future. Nice double jab for Jose Wonderboy Lopez. seems to be warmed up pretty good. They're throwing punches in combinations. Nobody's coming out trying to get warmed up. They're throwing more than one punch from the gate. I think you'd agree the next step for development for Garcia will, will be how he handles adversity when he gets in real trouble, which we haven't seen from him. Do you think Lopez is the guy that can put him in some trouble tonight? Yep, and we're seeing a little bit of aggressiveness by Lopez now, but you want to see a lot of that from Lopez because that's the way he fights. He crowds you, he comes in, and he's not reckless. Yes, this is going to be a big test tonight for Garcia. Lopez trying to get inside, even though he has that three-inch reach advantage. Excellent defense for both guys. They're, they're, nobody's getting an easy shot here. Everybody's got to work for it. Both fighters is known, known for good defense, and that's what you see right now. Garcia has so much going on outside the ring. Obviously, his newborn baby daughter. He has a YouTube show. He's done photo shoots for Team Vogue, Amber Crombie, and Fitch. The question is, can he handle all the outside stuff and not lose the edge inside the ring? Well, he's throwing four or five punch combinations inside, which I love to see early in the fight to warm his arms up, to warm his mind up. And look for more combinations from Ryan Garcia as the fight goes on. Couple left hands landing there for Lopez, who does not appear to be intimidated at all from the flash. Well, Lopez is going to show everyone that he's going to be a pesty fighter. He's going to be a pesty demeanor towards Garcia. Uh, he's going to be there. He's not going to run. He's not going to try to avoid anything. He's going to try to make those exchanges to get something in. 
speaking Spanish in the corner. Garcia doesn't speak Spanish, says he understands it okay. So there was a translator there for Rodoso and Garcia, but a nice flurry to end round one for Garcia, which certainly won in the round. The instructions Garcia got in the corner was to keep his hands up after he threw a combination, and that's what he's doing, throwing rapid combinations and not leaving his head up to be countered. One of the things Garcia's been working on is his defense, Bernard. And let me tell you, Lopez C, something in previous fights, where as long as he continues to pressure Garcia, he can get some punches in, because that's been the knock on Garcia. If you continue to stay close and throw punches, you can have some success. Garcia started boxing at the age of seven. His first love was baseball, but he didn't like the team concept. He wanted everything to rely on his own shoulders. If I lose, it's because of me. If I win, it's because it. of Come on. me. Come on. Swap in on, Let him go, Ryan, that's you. Let him go. Let him go, Ryan. Right now, two rounds in a 10 round fight. I have it split, one round apiece. But, you know, Garcia has to continue. Ryan has to continue to throw that jab from a distance. If he tries to fight close, I think it's to his disadvantage. Oh, good one, too. Straight right, right hand right. on the Stop button right. from Garcia. And Lopez took it well, but he did grab. He was smart enough to hold on for a second or two. Can't eat too many more of those, Lopez. Oh, there's one right on the ear. You see the distance of Ryan Garcia. He's he's Stop. measuring him with the left hand, and then he comes over the top with the straight right. That's the punch that's going to be effective. If Lopez doesn't find any way to get through that, he's going to be in trouble as the fight goes on. I can tell you this, it's extremely loud inside this event center. 99% of the people here cheering for Ryan Garcia. Let him out. Suatelo, suatelo. Well, Jose, Jose. Ryan Garcia has an old soul and a young body. He rolls with that shoulder not to get hit inside. And that's a really veteran move. Oh, good uppercut. Lopez rattled a little bit. He may be ready to go. Garcia let his hands fly. Another right hand. Uppercut misses. Lopez needs to put his hands up. And he's down. Thanks for the great combination by oh, Garcia, no. letting his hands Cinco, go and not stopping six, until he gets him down. Ocho. He barely made the round. Quiere seguir. Está bien? The count. Hey, don't bend your head down. And that's the end of the round. The bell saved him out of this round. the first knockdown when he got hurt earlier with the right hand, but it was a jab set it up with the straight right hand. This started the combinations of knockdown. He didn't the go down there, sorry. And then he yeah, got hurt again and didn't go down. Yeah, the second time it was the right hand, but it was accumulation of punches. As we see right now, some missed and some connected. But this is where 
The knockdown of the third time happened. Right there, letting the uppercut land like it did. Some concern now in the corner of Lopez. Are they going to stop it? They do! Ryan Garcia! The hype train rolls on! He's the real deal. No hype. Looks good, talks good, got a fan base. And he looks like he could star in the next Disney movie. He's got the boyish looks just like his mentor, Oscar De La Hoya. He has my 19-year-old daughter vote. <laughs> You've seen almost all of his fights. Was this, even though it was a short fight, was this his best performance? This is impressive. This is the best performance based under the pressure, based on even myself worried if that going to be a factor? It wasn't. He, matter of fact, he embraced it and came out as better as I've ever seen him. And I've been watching Garcia for a long time, and he's only 20, as you reminded me. <laughs> and there's Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy, who says to Eddie Reynoso, hey, man, this is because of you. Look, he has a veteran, he has a respected coach in his corner, and he got the right information, and he delivered on that. So Ryan Garcia with his 15th knockout, he's 18 and 0. The sky is the limit. He's mentioned some big names that he wants. He's mentioned Gervonta Davis. Is that something you want to see sooner? Than I want to see after this performance. I want to see that for 40 years in. Maybe one more fight where both guys are sharing the spotlight, and then let's go right in because that performance and that poise from a 20-year-old. I mean, I'm a late boomer. I didn't start looking right. like that until after 25. Right. This is this is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. And there's no hype. I'm telling you, it's special. He was the ESPN prospect of the year in 2017. Now, two years later, he's starting to bloom, ladies and gentlemen. Here's our CompuBox statistics. He was only hit 10 times by Lopez. Garcia, much more accurate. Power punches landed 27 for Garcia. Only seven for the Puerto Rican fighter, Jose Lopez. Let's look at that final sequence as Canelo pays his respects to the 20-year-old Ryan Garcia. You see the overhand right, but then you see what? Another right, uppercut. I mean, he was on his way down, he lifted him back up, and he's continue to do what? Continue to punch until the referee steps in. That is a taunt move by a wise, wise coach. No matter what angle you look at it, you're gonna see the same results. What? Continue to throw punches, even though some punches is not actually hitting him hard. One do get in, and that was the one that stopped the fight. After his knockout over Aurelio Rodriguez at Madison Square Garden on the Canelo Rocky undercard, he gained a million followers after that. I wonder how many more he'll get after this knockout tonight over Jose Lopez. Maybe another million? So Lopez made it out of the round, but then after talking to the doctors and the cornerman, Jack Reese saying, that will do it. No mas, no mas. And the winner, and still undefeated, Ryan Garcia. The proud papa gets the win for his newborn daughter, Riley Garcia, born just last week. Let's make it official now, Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Three minutes, round number two. Lopez elects not to continue. His corner requests this bout come to a halt. Therefore, referee Jack Reese stops the contest for your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated. The fighting pride of the high desert, King Ryan. Ryan.
I'll tell you what, Bernard, I don't think this arena is going to be able to hold him much longer. What, 4,000 fans? I think next time we see him headlining a card, it's going to be somewhere bigger, maybe like the Los Angeles.